Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits featuring me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we bri we went we trap um blah, we schlepped through the mountain stronghold one last time, but we didn't take the radio with us for some inane reason, and learned that there's something going down in Ubel. I, after a few filler fights, we finally made it. Let's see what awaits us. I mean, if only the windmills took damage, I mean, fortunately nobody's been hurt. Well, to their knowledge. Oh, uh, yeah, I was about to say, oh, I guess Gons and Tachan are bringing up the rear, but they're not. She did it. She had a second buttermilk biscuit, didn't she? Those things are a hell of a drug. I don't blame her. Let's see what the barkeep has, has to say about this. Yeah, I could just... I'm just gonna get it out of my system when they said the windmills were destroyed. Not the windmills! What, you not feeling in a talkative mood? I have to go behind the counter, don't I? Because I think if you rebuild the windmills, everything will be okay. I mean, it's just a windmill. Or two. Or three. What were you even using the windmills for, dare I ask? Okay, why? Um, why? Because there's smoke coming from that windmill? I mean, apparently you're not so scared that you you're that you're unable to talk like a pirate because you said arg. Oh, you're not going to go into any more detail, are you? Yeah, it, yeah, well, that's what happens when you let Nazis 
Nazis come to power. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Knock off Nazis. Because the Dillsworld Empire totally isn't meant to represent Germany during a certain wartime. Oh my fuck, they took out the bridge. They actually frickin' did it. The bastards. Okay. The tavern isn't locked, but the weapons shop and that spirit stone refinery are? That makes no sense. Were there demos here? Aside from dark, I mean. I agree. No one is giving us any intel. They have to be vague for the sake of being vague. It's like we're in a... Frickin' Tokusatsu written by Toshiki Inoue. Can't even get inside to check in and see if the kitty's okay. Yeah, it's not much of a neighborhood. I mean, this doesn't seem like... Neighborhood is not the first word I would use to describe you, Belle. I mean, it's pretty small to be a neighborhood. Okay, they've got it locked from both sides. Well, at least someone's trying to stay positive. Could it be? I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, sure, he's in his level 20s, but I mean, it's not. And so, like, an attack from a snake would, like, only do one damage, but. I mean, it's, it's not like he's a god at this point. Could you please give us some more details? Some exposition would be nice. to give us, us something, well, tangible.
Well, I mean, technically speaking, it wasn't and Dark who killed Nafia. It was Lilia because she didn't because she decided to listen to Nafia when she, Nafia said she was fine despite having gotten shot and not deciding to like say, "Oh, hey, Gonz's cabin is over there. We should try and rest up over there." Here, and I could dress your wounds and shit. He should probably have some medical supplies left over. I mean, it's not like he... I mean, this is an emergency. I'm sure he'd understand. In the unlikely event he comes back to his cabin. But nope. She and Dark just decided to take Nafia at her word and try to take her back to Yubel. With a bullet inside her. I mean, I don't blame Dark, because there's no way he would have known that, like, that healing magic would work on a human. I mean, he's never had a reason to use healing magic on a human before. I mean, I'm just saying... Lilia should have known better. I personally think Nafia's death could have been handled better. I mean, the parting scene between her and Dark was very tragic, but... You know. Just that huge... Huge them and going, uh, defying all sense of, defying common sense and saying, like, no, you are not okay, we are going somewhere safe, and we are going to try and heal you. Or get the bullet out at the very least.
Oh, this will not end well. Is the headstone in the ground? I mean, I guess it is. Deimos! Run for your lives! He's gonna use his power! Ah, help! I can't... My power... It wasn't the power of the spirits? It was because I have Deimos? Blood running in my veins? Pa Paulette! Don't come near me! <gasps> I'm... My father, Window, was it Deimos? Why? Why? It can't be. Am I always to be a Deimos now? With horns and scales all over my body? Never. I will not become a Deimos. I am human! Yes. I'll wipe out the Deimos and make a safe world for humans to live in. Just you watch. I won't stop until I've destroyed them all. Dark, you'll be the first. I'll never accept that we share the same blood. 
Wherever you run, I'll find you and take your life. I'm ready for you, Dark. Well, that escalated quickly. So, I think I'll end the episode here, and see you all in the next episode. I have a lot of questions about what... about how Karg survived that improvised surgery, and why he didn't just let Tatjana handle it. Since she's the closest thing they have to a licensed doctor, but... Another rant for another time. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.